When you're buying a new TV, there's a lot to consider. Choosing the right screen size is important, and deciphering all those tech-related acronyms can be a chore. In this guide, we're gonna give you all the tools you need to make the right decision. For most living rooms, you'll do best with a 50-inch or larger TV. And remember, that's measured diagonally. You can go as big as your entertainment center and wallet will allow. The key is to look at the dimensions of the TV in the spec section and find out how wide and how tall it is to make sure it will fit your space. Also, take a look at the TV stand's dimensions to ensure a good fit. If you're wall mounting, don't worry about weight. There are mounts for every size and weight TV out there. For a bedroom or a kitchen TV, again, pull out the tape measure, gauge what feels and fits well for the space, and take a look at those TV dimensions to get the right size. HDTV, or 1080p Full HD TV used to be the king of the hill when it came to screen resolution, but that's no longer the case. 4K Ultra HD, which is four times the screen resolution as 1080p, is now the new standard, and 1080p is on the way out. 4K delivers a much sharper image than HD at larger screen sizes, and it lets you see all the tiny details in a picture where everything looks more crisp. HDR, short for High Dynamic Range, can make a huge difference in picture quality. It's only available on newer 4K TVs, and the combination of 4K and HDR deliver an amazingly lifelike picture. With HDR, you get much better contrast and even finer color shades. There are varying levels of HDR quality, and generally, you get what you pay for. Look to product reviews to see how the HDR on the TV you're interested in stacks up against others in its price tier. Smart TVs connect directly to the internet, either with Wi-Fi or Ethernet cable, and come with built-in streaming apps like Amazon Video, Netflix, Hulu, HBO Now, and more. You can watch shows and movies, plus play games and even surf the web on some smart TVs. The majority of TVs available now are smart TVs, so you won't have to go out of your way to find one. And one thing to keep in mind here, you can always upgrade any TV, smart or dumb, with a streaming stick or set-top box to get all of these smart TV features. Refresh rate is an indication of how smoothly a TV displays motion, and you'll want to look for what's called native refresh rate. Generally, you want a 120 hertz refresh rate if you can get it, though we have seen some excellent 60 hertz TVs out there too. Effective refresh rate is a term that's also used, but that refers to picture processing and rates higher than 120 hertz. We recommend ignoring both effective refresh rates and anything over 120 hertz. Here's the bottom line. There is no such thing as a 240 hertz TV. There's 60 hertz and 120 hertz, and that's it. TVs have lots of inputs and outputs, and HDMI is the standard way of connecting a source to a TV. To future-proof your TV, look for at least three HDMI ports. And if you're going to use a soundbar or AV receiver with your TV, make sure it supports HDMI ARC, which is a simple way to pass audio back and forth from the TV and your speaker system. These acronyms can be confusing, but we'll make it really simple. There are really only two types of TVs made today, LED backlit TVs and OLED. Most TVs available now are LED TVs, and they use what's called an LCD filter to deliver the image you see. The terms LED and LCD sometimes get used interchangeably because they refer to the same type of TV. Some higher-end LED TVs also use quantum dots, to deliver deeper and more accurate color, as well as better contrast. You'll see acronyms like QD or QLED to denote this. Think of these as LED TVs on steroids. OLED TVs, on the other hand, are a newer kind of technology that delivers better black levels, better contrast, and a wider viewing angle than LED TVs, all in a very thin panel. They're on the high end of the price spectrum, but not significantly more expensive than top-tier LED TVs. We hope we've demystified some of the newer terms and trends with today's TVs. If you've got more questions, hit us up at digitaltrends.com, and we've got lots more videos for you to watch right here. Above all else, though, have fun and enjoy your new TV.